So two draws in the last episode, one away against Sevilla and one away against Arsenal. They're not bad results against two really decent sides, but considering the start of the season we've had, we certainly expected wins in both of those games. And for me personally, to make the mistakes in the Sevilla game was really disheartening. And then to draw a blank against Arsenal with me doing effectively nothing was really poor. So coming into this game against Derby County, I've got to do better and we've got to return to winning ways right now. Pereira to myself, and I'll try and play it back to Pereira. There we go, easy as you like. Rooney, back to me. And Pereira needs to keep on running. I'll try and play it to Ward Prowse instead. It's going to come to Pereira, though. Pereira back to me. Rooney inside, great chance for 1-0. And Lee Grant makes a really good save and turns it behind for a corner. Good stop there by uh, Grant, and it is still 0-0. And from the corner, it's crossed in towards myself at the far post. I flicked it up in the air, and it's not really dealt with. It's going to come to me. Oh, oh I thought I was going to score with an acrobatic. Not really a bicycle kick, but, well, that would have been a lovely goal, wouldn't it? Sadly, I couldn't keep it down, and a big opportunity wasted. And Yanko will clear. And now a good chance on the break here. If I can get a touch away from Hendrick and play it through towards Van Persie. He's got Rooney next to him. Rooney on the ball. Uh, he's got me in support if he wants. There we go. Keep on running, Wayne. He's going to come to you. Rooney on the ball. If he wants to give it back to me, he can. Or he's going to go for goal himself. And he finds it with a, the, the shot clipping the inside of that far post. And Wayne Rooney makes it Manchester United 1. Derby County 0. So Rooney with a goal. Another assist for myself. And I was trying to run around the back there if he wanted to play it back inside towards me. He wanted to go for goal himself, and I'm glad he did. It's a superb finish by Wayne Rooney. No chance for Lee Grant, and it's Manchester United 1, Derby County 0. We've had the better start, no doubt about that, but there wasn't really too much urgency in the opening uh, first half. Not that we've really needed it, obviously. We've still got plenty of time left in the game, but even so, glad to get the first goal of the game. Wayne Rooney gets it, and an assist for myself as well. <laughs> We're back to, the, uh, back to the goal or an assist get uh, every game now there's got to be something that happens every game and now we've got ourselves an assist in this one one we, you know we missed out in the um the game against arsenal couldn't afford to do it two games in a row here's bryson and bryson to will hughes Hughes on the ball for Derby County. Still Hughes crosses to the far post. Fabrini's header. And Diego Fabrini equalises for Derby County. And they are back on level terms just a few minutes after conceding. And it is the uh, former Watford player, former Millwall Loney as well. Diego Fabrini with the goal. Manchester United won. Derby County won. have to say, I think Lindegar should have done better there, but he didn't. And Fabrini heads it in and makes it 1-1 in this game. That's, that's just terrible. We literally just score... And then a few minutes later, Diego puts them back on level terms. That's really poor. And now Forsyth back to Keo, And I'm chasing them down and I'm trying to put pressure on. But it's not really working because Derby are just retaining possession so well. And uh, there's going to be a foul here on Yanko, who I think has actually been booked already. So this might be a red card. It is. It's a second yellow card. And Yanko is sent off. And we're down to 10 men going into the hour mark. And this is not good at all because we are already struggling for possession and we want to win this game, not draw it. And now Derby have got a man advantage. This could be really difficult for us now. This could be really difficult. And our chances of winning this game have taken a huge blow. Yanko sent off and, uh, well, we're, oh God, we're taking Wayne Rooney off for of Phil Jones. This is just surrendering any chance of us getting a win now. Yes, that's my ball. I read that all day long. Van Persie, keep on running. It's not going to come to you. I'm going to go down the right hand side and cross it. I want Rojo to get in the area. It's going to come towards him. In it goes towards Rojo. Oh, great chance there. But shot and turns it behind for a corner. That's a big defensive header there. And there's the final whistle. So Manchester United won, Derby County won. What a frustrating game at Old Trafford. Louis van Gaal made a lot of changes going into that game. Several first 11 players, uh, well, either dropped for uh, fitness reasons or performance reasons against Arsenal. And it showed, quite frankly, it showed we just weren't good enough in that game, man. Seriously, Derby had so much possession. I got a 6.6 .6 for my game. I had 90% passing and got the assist for the Wayne Rooney goal. But I didn't think I did uh, too well. And as you can see, it was a game which, you know, both teams only had one shot on target each, which doesn't sound right to me. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. But uh, even though Derby had, you know, far more possession than us, we can't allow them to do that low Trafford. But uh, once Yanko got himself his second book in, the game was effectively done because I knew he wouldn't be able to get the ball off them because they were retaining possession so well before that anyway. So we're having a man advantage. There was no way, uh, no way back for us. Even so, that is now three consecutive draws in a row. Quite frankly, not good enough. And um, I guess I'm kind of glad that we're 
going into an international break because we need this now to sort of re-energise ourselves and uh, get back, um, you know, back to winning ways, if you will, uh, once the international break's over. Regardless, though, we are going into na international break. We'll have uh, two games. Uh, one is against Poland, one is against Sweden in two international friendlies. I'm not sure which one I'll play, but I'll be back for whichever one in just a moment's time. I really did expect us to win that game. A home draw to Derby County is quite frankly not good enough and the red card summed up the performance really of the team and myself as an individual did not have a good game at all. So this international break really has come at the right time. Three consecutive draws with Manchester United. We're beginning to struggle a little bit, beginning to feel the pressure. So now we've got two international friendlies. I've been caught up with England. I'll probably play only one um, over the two as I usually do. I only get to play one game. But uh, still we take on Poland for the first game of the international break and he's hoping for a win. Here's Delph. Plays it out wide towards Bertrand here. Ryan Bertrand on the ball. And the Southampton left back is in a bit of trouble so I'll try and help him out. And we'll just regain possession there. Henderson. And if the uh, Liverpool midfielder plays it to me inside towards Defoe. And Defoe could have played it back to me but he's going to find Rooney. Rooney towards Delph. Delph towards Shelby and it's the opening goal of the game. John Joe Shelby gets it and the Swansea midfielder makes it England 1, Poland 0. So Shelby with the goal, really, really good finish by the uh, former Liverpool and Scholte midfielder. And he smashes the ball past the goalkeeper right in the near post. Absolutely no chance for him. So much shot power generated there. And it is England 1, Poland 0. So brilliant finish by John Joe Shelby. And we do open the score in here at Wembley. That's a brilliant strike, isn't it? No chance for the goalkeeper. And uh, yeah, fantastic start to the game. 1-0 to England with the first real chance of the game. And that's exactly what we needed. Fast start and we've got it. And Lewandowski is going to run down the right side. And I'm not going to catch him. No way. Lewandowski. Still Lewandowski. In goes the cross. And the header is won. And he's put into the back of the net. And it's England 1, Poland 1. And nine minutes after taking the lead. Poland are back on level terms. Lewandowski ran down the right-hand side. I wasn't going to catch up to him. Yeah, yeah, across the ball in Poland and just a, a header which went past McCarthy who seemed to dive really slowly. Maybe that's just me watching that uh, on first viewing, but didn't he seem to dive really slowly there? Even so, the footwork was pretty poor and uh, Poland are back on level terms. It was a good header in fairness. Maybe I'm being a bit too critical of uh, the QPR goalkeeper, but even so, that, that to me seemed like it should have been dealt with by the goalkeeper. If not, then definitely in the air by the England defenders. Regardless, it wasn't England won, Poland won. And we're back on level terms. And don't ask me to pronounce that name because I won't be able to. Rooney is going to take this free kick then. Great chance to make it 2-1 and get his first goal of the game. He scored against Derby. Now can he score in an England shirt? Wayne Rooney from the free kick. In it goes and he puts the ball over the bar. Pretty poor attempt considering how good that uh, location of the free kick was, I guess. Couldn't keep the shot down. Still 1-1. Giant throw-ins this year absolutely suck. They'll try and create something, try and give Chesney something to think about. And it's a simple claim in the end. And, uh, oh, what? What, are we just, what? Have we just scored? That's go that's coward. No, wait, it's a free kick. Is it a free kick or has it gone in? Because Chesney's, I, I have no idea what's, is that a goal or a free kick? We got a second replay, so that must be a goal. I didn't get to see the score line, so I don't know whether it was a goal or not. I think we just scored. I think we've just scored directly for a throw in with Chesney. We have. It's a goal. I don't believe it. I can't believe it. It's England 2, Poland 1. That is just bizarre. We've just scored from that throw in with Chesney caught and it was taken down. And there was no free kick given. We've scored a goal. I don't believe this. That is the most bizarre goal I have ever seen. That is just ridiculous. I just giant throw in the ball. Chesney caught it. And it was, I think it was Sturridge and Delphi sort of sandwiched into him. Sturridge took him down. I can't believe that wasn't a foul. And Chesney got caught up in the animation and took the ball over the line. And that's why a goal was given. There was no, I thought it was going to be a free kick. That's why there was a replay. But it was a totally fine goal, according to the referee. That is extraordinary. That is absolutely extraordinary. I can't believe that. Seriously, in a terrible, terrible game, a complete moment of, I don't know what to call this, bizarre controversy? How on earth is that not a free kick against Sturridge? That is just absolutely bizarre. England 2... Poland won. I don't think I'll get credited with the goal. It'll go down as a Chesney own goal and I won't get an assist or anything. 
I, I actually cannot believe that that goal was counted. That is just the most bizarre goal I will ever see. That is just insane. <laughs> That's terrible. That is abs I, feel, I feel bad that we scored from that. I actually feel bad that that goal was counted. That is just embarrassing. That's Bertrand's ball all day long there. I'll try and play it through towards Mika Richards. That's a lovely ball out wide towards the right back. And uh, Richards has Henderson in support if he wants. He's going to come to Henderson. He's got me here if he wants. There we go. Simple passes here. Delph on the ball. Inside towards Sturridge. 3-1 England. Daniel Sturridge with the goal. And that's got to be the game now. Fantastic stuff. Sturridge with the goal. He sort of caused that second goal, if you will. But uh, there's no debate about this one. Lovely ball inside by Delph. And Sturridge off the bench with a brilliant finish. Makes it England 2, Poland 1. Uh, sorry, England 3, Poland 1. Can I win that ball in the air? No, I can't. It's going to come inside, and the bicycle kick is really well saved by McCarthy. That came out of nothing, that chance there. Straight from a throw in, and uh, Blazikowski is going to take this corner. Can he cause a bit of a scramble in the area? In it goes. McCarthy comes, doesn't really get there, and uh, we do manage to deal with the ball. It wasn't really the best and most convincing at defending, but we got the ball away. And now a possible chance on the break. Sturridge to Bertrand, back to Sturridge, now back to me. Quick first time uh, fake shot there. Now Henderson, now back to me. And now back to Henderson, tackled, but it's going to come back to Henderson here. Oh, look at me right there. I've got so much space on the edge of the area. I'm going to take a shot and put the ball just wide of the post. I fancy my, uh, well, my second England goal, but I couldn't hit the target. It's Sturridge for England here. We've got men on the overlap. What a chance here. Going to try and play it through. Great chance for 4-1. Wayne Rooney. Oh, my. How on earth did Rooney mess that up? That would have been my, uh, well, my only assist of the game. And Rooney messes up a brilliant chance. Should have been four. And there is full time. So final score, England three, Poland one. We get the win in the international friendly. And um, yeah, it was a very interesting game. Let's just say that. I think we deserve to win the game. I feel like we did play better. But Poland certainly didn't play poorly or anything. I just think we were a little bit better on the day. But um, that Chesney own goal. Without doubt, the most bizarre goal of the series today and probably for the foreseeable future. It's a shame I won't get credited with the assist for the goal. I did get what would be considered a hockey assist for the third goal, which uh, was scored by Sturridge. But even so, I felt I had an okay game. Got an 8.9 rating, 90% passing, no goals or assists, sadly, but um, still a pretty decent game overall. But um, that, that goal we scored, which was the own goal for Chesney, that was just, I mean, I'm still shocked that it counted. Uh, regards, a 3-1 victory, very pleased with that. And uh, hopefully I'll actually be rested for the Sweden game. I mean, I know I want to play for England as many times as possible, but I didn't really have much energy to start with in that game. And I'd, I'd much prefer to have a rest in that Sweden game and then be fully fit coming back for the next game against Southampton next Saturday. But that is going to end the episode, guys. So as always, a big thank you for watching the video. I really do hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed today's episode of my my player then please do leave a like it is much appreciated and of course it really does help my channel out but you don't have to leave a like if you don't want to and i'll see you for the next episode of my player very soon